With the help of the brand new modernization mod for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, we were able to build and design this amazing impenetrable base. And it is the goal of this video to defeat this army, to attack this base successfully and crush it to the ground. We also have new units, including RPGs, grenade throwers, flamethrowers, and we're going to check those out as well and hopefully use them to defeat this really cool base. Complete with squads of shotgun guys, including uh, Mr. Helmet over here. Are you Dark Helmet from Spaceballs? I think you are. We have a tank in the back with some AK-47 guys, including this giant. Are you Andre the Giant? We also have some guards protecting the goods back here as well as two other squadrons of different riflemen. Yeah, oh, I almost forgot. We can't forget the snipers in the sniper tower. And let me tell you, it was hard to place these guys here. But in all four towers, we have snipers. And that's really, really cool. This base took me forever to design. I hope you like it. And without further ado, let's start building armies to see if we can successfully take this base down. Here is our lovely base, complete with ruins on the outside, and we're gonna start with an army. I'm gonna start with, we're gonna do a wall of shields, I think. I'm just guessing. We're gonna try this. I'm gonna do riot police shields in the front, like this. Maybe two rows of riot police, okay? And we're gonna try out the new RPG grenade launcher eventually, but I wanna try and do some basic stuff. Maybe some combat medics in the back. We'll have some combat medics. I think they're gonna help, right? And then from there, we're going to need Offense. Let's have some deagles. Because why not? Everyone loves deagles. And then some P90s. Right? And maybe some dual Uzis. How about that? Now, the army, the base outnumbers us. But I want to test it. I want to see just how powerful the base defenses are. And that is what we're going to do. I'm going to start with slow mo because, oh. Oh, the range on some of these guns is way too long. Look at those Remingtons in the back. Look how far they're shooting. I mean, I would expect the snipers to reach this far. I would not expect shotguns to go that far. That's a little unbalanced, and it seems like our attacking army is not going to stand a chance. In comes the tank. For some reason, the shield guys aren't going through the choke. They're going for the walls. They're running right onto the spike walls. I don't understand why. Do they think the spike walls are defenses that they can attack? Well, the defending team won. We knew that. Now we need to up the stakes. Let's add some AK-47s on this side. And how about some AR-15s on this side? Now we're almost at 100 units. One, two. Now we're at 100 units. And let's see what happens. I'm going to do a bird's eye view of the battle. And we're going to swoop in. And yeah, the shotgun users are blasting from a mile out. That is strange. Snipers, I believe, are sniping. You can see the snipers. Actually, pause, pause, pause. You can see right here that the AR-15s are shooting at the snipers up here in the sniper towers. And they're still alive, which is kind of cool. Resume the fight, even in slow mode, because there's a lot of units on the field. I think I put too much stuff on the field for my poor, poor computer. And these guys are shooting at the snipers in this tower, but I don't know how good of a job they're doing defeating the snipers. There's one down, but two alive. We pause again, and it just seems like each of these guys are shooting at the barriers. Barriers from one side, barriers from the other. No one's trying to, like, move in and take the base. They're all shooting the walls. Maybe the walls need to not be quote-unquote units or targetable units. Fight at full speed. Snipers are still sniping. Our red team is dying. The combat medics are trying to keep people alive. But in comes the tank right to the... Well and it fires at the wall. It's really weird. Well, red team survived a whole lot better, but blue team in the end still won. The tank decided, you know what? I'm gonna clip through the wall and take shots. Our snipers and the sniper towers are still alive. They're really durable up here. Only one sniper on each side has died. The rest of the snipers still stayed alive. We really gotta escalate, but my poor computer is going to fail. Let's clear our attacking side and let's start checking out some of the new Units, flamethrowers, RPGs, ah, uh, yeah, and grenade launchers, ah, uh, yeah, and flamethrowers, yeah, flamethrowers, right? In the <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. And maybe some grenade throwers. These are all the brand new units. Grenade throwers. Hopefully they can lob over the wall. We'll see. There you go. Brand new units. 
Here we go. Flamethrowers are doing their thing. Look at that go. Gunshots have a Boom! There's the gunshots! Oh, look at the explosions! This unit's in the sky! <laughs> Oh, yeah, guys, I don't think the grenade throwers threw the grenades over the wall. I think they threw the grenades at the wall. I think the RPGs are shooting the wall. And now the grenades are bouncing off the walls and hitting our own teammates. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Guys, this defensive base is doing way better than I ever expected. Check this out. Red's done. Red's done. I think Red killed themselves more than they killed the opponents. What is happening? So my camera broke, so bear with me. Let's try some tanks, okay? Let's try a wall of attacking tanks, right? Let's do two walls of attacking tanks. We're going serious mode here. We're going all in with these tanks. I want to see this. I want to see these tanks start. They're shooting the walls. Some are shooting the walls. Some shot the sniper towers, knocking two snipers out. That's funny. But none of them are really moving through the choke. They're actually going straight into these walls. Why? Are they targeting blue units past the walls? Are none of them seeing these walls as actual, well, walls? This is so weird. All these tanks just grinding up on the defensive positions, on the spike walls, on the front walls. Just grind on up. Are any of them able to shoot enemy units? So this is like it's like it's like a dog pile of tanks. It's a tank pile of tanks, and none of them can get through. There's a perfectly good door right here. The tanks don't care. They just want to be a disaster. I think we can all agree that the artificial intelligence in this game is not that smart. Perfectly good gap in the wall, and oh oh. There seems to be one tank that's almost through. Nope, not quite. He's stuck on the wall. You know, I gotta say, there's not a lot of blue units left. There's a bunch of red tanks left. Not a lot of blue units, but the blue units aren't really killing the enemy. They're just grinding up on the wall, and the red units are just grinding up on the wall. It's really weird to see. This isn't how the game's supposed to be played, guys. Let's try and put a whole bunch of grenade throwers back here. Maybe... We can lure the blue team out of its base with this distance. Let's see what happens. Boom, like that. Grenade throwers in the back. They're slowly moving forward. Can we convince blue? No, we can't. Oh, the snipers, the ARs. So many guns can reach this far. And how far are they throwing their grenades? Oh, are they, are they targeting the walls? Are the walls what's stopping my units? from attacking the other units. Little grenades are blowing through the walls and hitting these guys. But the walls are targetable. If we remove the walls, will they target the enemy units? I think we've learned something here, guys. We've removed the front walls, hoping that now because of this, the units will actually attack the blue units. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Let's rock some RPGs. Some RPGs. I want some grenade launchers. Some grenade launchers. I want to try these new units. I want to get these bombs to do some work. Flamethrowers in the front. And then we're going to do maybe some AK-47s over here. And AK-47s over here. And then over here and over here and over here and over here. Try that. Boom! Flamethrowers flaming the throw. Throwing the flames. They're throwing flames. Guns. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. The explosions just wrecked those front blue units. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Removing the walls was the right idea. The artificial intelligence in this game is not smart enough. But seeing those blue units get completely destroyed made my day. But why are the red units getting hit? What bombs are causing the red units to go flying? Is it friendly fire? Are we accidentally throwing grenades in amongst our own men? Is it RPGs? Look, red units flying through the sky. Kind of disgusting. Did I give the blue units RPGs? I don't remember. And also, what are these red units doing? Why are they firing? Are they walking in? Yeah, they're kind of just moving in. I guess they're trying to get closer to the enemy units. But as they get closer, they get shot down and shot down and shot down. Full speed. Snipers are still up in the sniper towers. A couple flamethrower units still throwing flames. But for the most part, red team isn't quite powerful enough to pull this off. There's just too much damage from the blue team. The snipers are actually doing a lot of work in the towers. Like, these guys have been phenomenal. Look at them work. Look at them work over here. 
Just completely wrecking noobs. Snipers up in the towers. This is the dream. Look, look. Actually, I think the sniper got the last kill. See this nice big burst of air? I think. Hold on. How is a bullet bending in the air? Did you see that? The air is going. That's not how bullets move. These units are doing their job, and now we're going to add some tanks in the rear. We really want to try and push this base as hard as possible. The base does have more points, but then again, some of those points might be some of the buildings, which is probably true. Let's give them some snipers. I'm going to put some snipers back here on the hill, and then I'll put some snipers back here on the hill. I think they can reach that far. Let's find out. Here we go. I just want to see the uh, grenade explosion again. Wait for it. Wait for it. RPGs! That wasn't grenades, that was RPGs. Oh, I love it every time. I love it every time. Now, are the snipers back here able to participate? They're kind of moving in. Why are they facing that way? Hello? Where, where, where are you facing? What are you doing? And what about these snipers over here? Oh my god, the lag is so brutal right now. I'm on slow mo. Okay, these snipers are doing work over here. They're actually taking shots. Tanks, ready to fight. Guys, there's too many units. I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna zoom out. Try and reduce the lag right now. Still some red units left. All three blue tanks, or actually all three red tanks are there. The blue tank is still there. There's a gun in the bottom left hand corner of the screen going flying. Snipers are still alive. I'm gonna do full speed, even with the worst, worst FPS you've ever seen. I just wanna get this fight going as fast as possible. One thing I wonder, are the units targeting the buildings and not targeting the people? Are the buildings targetable? Because you can see the explosions kind of occurring and hitting the bunkers. That's not what I want. I want them to shoot players, not buildings. Red's moving in. Red seems to be doing work. Snipers are dying out of the towers, guys. We might finally do it. This army might finally be the one to pull it off to defeat the blue defense. We have to remove the front walls to do so, but in the end, it might work. Now, blue tank is dead. Are there any blue units alive? As you can see, they're actually shooting. They're shooting the base. Wait, the base has HP. The base can go down. No way. So the red players didn't need to shoot the towers, didn't need to shoot the walls, but they did need to shoot these. Is that part of the intention? Is that intentional? That these act like, 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 like capture points that once they're destroyed, you can win the game. That was really, really cool.